Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Hearthstone and look at that. Blizzard still trying to entice us to play even more Hearthstone. Well, I'm a free-to-play player, Blizzard. Um, I don't think that that's going to change, but pretty awesome to get a free arena ticket. That is the one other uh, aspect, one other gameplay type for a Hearthstone that you can do without having to have a whole collection of cards or anything like that. And looks like we are in a season of um, some unusual arenas. Go try out the arena, some strange new cards from alternate taverns are showing up. So let's check that out. I get a free pack as well. All right, just for logging in. Okay, cool. 100 gold to be won and 100 dust by playing 35 spells. And you can get a bundle as well. Well, not too interested in that, but let's do the arena. We have the free ticket anyways. Should be interesting. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm thinking Shaman, that's always pretty fun, and uh, you've got a pretty cool RNG hero power, so let's do Troll, and, and let's see what, what kind of a deck we can build here. Um, Battlecry, discover a spell, reduce cost by 5, then put it on top of your deck, 6-3, destroy a pirate, echo and taunt, that is pretty good as well, Phantom Militia. Even in late game, you could play up to three of them. Um, I guess we could put the Time Way Wanderer in there at first. Um, okay, that's an interesting one. This is a really strong one. Divine Shield, that's a really good one as well. Uh, let me think here. The Arena, if I'm not mistaken, you do want to go small enough. Uh, but basically, Stone Skin Basilisk... Like pretty much a free kill of something big. Let's take that. This seems pretty useful. Uh, deal. I guess we take the two drop and a two one and a one one. I kind of like this one. Um, that's really nice as well. Angry chicken. Nope. So we'll take the tide hunter. Whatever. Give a minion three three and freeze it. Recruit a minion that costs four or less. Death rattle. If it's your opponent's turn, summon a two one. 2-2 two, two goal. So that's up to a 5-3 three for 3. I'd say that that's pretty good value. Kind of like this. Okay, special one. Battle cry. Freeze a minion until this leaves the battlefield. Ah, oh, man. Earth Elemental. 7-8 for 5. I don't think you can do much better than that. So I'm going to take it. Uh, Twilight Drake is really good. Inba Unbound Elemental. We have our first Overload card as well. Death Rattle, summon a 5-1 Revenant. Hmm. We could go 4-drop, considering the rest of my deck here. We'll take it to Twilight Drake. Battlecry, deal 3 damage to the enemy hero, restore 3 health to your hero at the end of your turn. Ooh, that is so good, potentially. Destroy your opponents. We'll take the, the green jelly. It needs to be taken care of. If I can take early bird control... Very nice little extra taunt. Deal 2 damage to a minion. Overload by 1. Deal 3 damage overload by 1. Taunt. Battle cry. Lose 1 health for each card in your opponent's hand. Okay. Can be good as well. We are building up decently taunty deck. But I think a lightning bolt. Give me a little bit of clear early on. We'll take that. That's an echo. If you control at least 2 other minions, gain taunt. Give a friendly minion immune this turn. That sounds pretty useful. Like a free trade to be made. We'll take that. We'll stay pretty small and we'll take that. Hmm. Add a random card from the Hall of Fame to your hand. I have no idea what that's it. that is. At the end of your turn, deal 2 damage to all other damaged minions. Very specific. Freeze minion. Alright, we'll take the Wildlands Adventurer. We could take another one, but Lightning Storm... I think a nice AoE spell. Always useful. Taunt and Poisonous. That's 
We need more elementals, I think. Recruit a minion that costs four or less. Uh, I think that comes out of your deck. Can be good, of course. Let's take another poisonous minion. Um, Demolisher. I always really liked the idea of the Demolisher, uh, but it's never turning out to be that good. Avalanche freeze a minion and deal three damage to adjacent ones. Not a bad spell. Whenever this minion dies, a minion dies, gain plus one attack. We've got some decent board presence. I think I'll take the flesh eating ghoul. Then on this one, ah, that is so good, but my curve is already so high up there for the five, so I think I'll just take the flame dumb totem here, try and fill up a little bit. Summon three one one murlocs after your hero gives attacks, gives this minion plus one plus one. Don't really have a lot of weapons, so maybe a lava burst. Five damage for three mana, that's pretty good. Stasis Dragon, stars dormant. This awakens with rush after two turns. Man, I think, I think that uh, these arena fights are decided a little bit more early. Maybe a second lava burst, or I mean, yeah, again, taunt poisonous. We'll take that. Basically, a free kill even later on. Deal six damage to a dragon. So specific, not too great. Discover a spell, reduce cost, then put it on top of your deck. Do I have one of those already? Yep. Or we could take the Stormforge Axe, another Overload. Give me some clear. I think we're okay with that. That's good. That's really not bad. But look at that. A two card with Echo, 2-2. Two, two. Just standard value. 2-2 two, two for two. But even late game, I could put five of them uh, on the board in a turn. So we'll take the Ghost Light Angler. Instead of drawing your normal card in turn, discover a card from your deck. What the hell does that do? Maybe we'll take another lightning storm instead of... Or we could do the RNG thing. Discover a card from your deck. Choose one of three cards to add to your hand. Okay. That is interesting. Lightning storm is pretty good as well. Here to keep the clear up. Maybe we'll, we'll do that. Timeline witness. Could be fun. Um, volcano. I have quite a few clear spells already. From the Hall of Fame to your hand. Let's take another Wildlands adventure. What the hell? Let's go RNG here. Uh, discover a Battlecry minion. Battlecry give adjacent minions to two. Pretty good, but look at the stats here. Obviously, Feral Spirits. Uh, just really great value for the mana spent. Mind control tech, again, to try to assert dominance, you could say. If they take over the, the board, you can try to turn that around with a mind control spell. At the start of your turn, set this minion's attack to 4. Deal 1 damage to an enemy, freeze it, or give someone wind fury. I guess we'll take the toothy chest. Oh, it's another tree drop again. Um, Wind Fury, Frost Shock. We've got plenty of clear. Let's take the chests. Uh, here, I think we'll just take the hex later game. Um, I think that makes most sense. Venture Co, five drop. Your minions, my minions cost three more. It's a really nice five drop. Maybe we'll just take a late game one. Giant Mastodon, 6, 10, we taunt for 9. Let's do that. Uh, after you summon a minion, transform it into a random minion that costs 2 more. Man, use that with the Echo one. Could be good. A second Hex could be good as well. But we don't need to overdo it. Sounds like an interesting one, so we'll take it. Um, damn. The curve here. This does sound kind of interesting, but I am... Well, we've got plenty of clear. Maybe we should just take it. Don't. Battle cry. Add random shaman spell to your hand. Tree drop. Battle cry. If you control no other minions, gain taunt and divine shield. All right. Lone champion. Seems pretty decent. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Draw that many cards. Lightning bolts. Or a random spell. 
I guess the lightning bolt is pretty good then. And final ones. Saranite Chain Gang. So I'm going to copy of this. Yeah. Sounds like the one that I'll take. Alright. Lots of minions. Uh, pretty heavy on the tree curve. But could be interesting. Got some poison in there as well. And then later game. We've got some interesting options as well. Let's see what we can do here. Finding our first opponent for this arena run. Let's you build a deck from random cards. You can also win prizes. And as I've said, the big advantage is you don't have to own any of these cards in order to be able to uh, draw from them. Looks like it's pretty busy with the free uh, arena at the moment. So it took a little bit of time, but we found a worthy opponent. It's a Rexar. The rush is on. Um, basically, I think we can draw better. I'll keep the lightning storm just in case he has a really, um, a really small minion rush deck here. That one is decent. Let's see what he's got. Ooh. All right. An annoying little Murloc. Uh, we can counter that with this. So I think that that's good. That only works when you summon a Murloc. Okay, there we go. And now just put something on the board. Excellent. And now we can try to pump up the flesh eating cool. I think it's worth it. That's two of them down. You need to take care of that. Let's see if he's got what it takes. Otherwise, hello, Saranite Chain Gang. Okay, all right. Force a spell out of it. So I think that that's sort of okay. That's two, three. Two, two, trees. I think we'll just keep going on curve here and at six we've got him so there we go what does he have that could be two cards for him but i'm sort of okay with that so i think we'll take a look at that first even more taunt stuff and we'll start working on his face if he summons a lot we get this we've got a clear as well for the small stuff yeah you can draw a card Oop, out comes the coin that's a pretty big one but it needs to go to work um, let me think. I think we can put this on the board here, basically. We'll do that. We'll give him the card anyways. That one still lives. And we'll do two to the Really too bad that the ghoul didn't survive. But now he still needs to get through all of this. And otherwise I can, like... Get this out, make it uh, something that's worth even more. Let's see what he does. Okay, all right. Um, is it worth it to lightning storm this? Let's see. Well, if I run this one in here, and this one has death shovel, a four tree raptor in your deck. So we've got, that one I is not bad for the protection here. So normally, this and this, well, that's the real question. I think we can start with this as well. Ooh, that works on those two. Interesting. And we'll do this. Ooh, that one survives. Damn, that's bad, but let's kill him like that. Four to the face. 
Still one taunt. Um, we can use Wildlands Adventurer next. Maybe. Let's see what he what he's got. Okay. A little bit annoying. More small stuff. Should be doable. The Thraddle. Uh, but yeah, all of those do get transformed. So I guess we'll play this first. Okay, interesting. Ah. <laughs> that is nice. Uh, we'll kill this. Like that. Another five to the face. We've got lethal. Still has to get through this. So, that's pretty good. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. <laughs> Swamp King Dread. Let's go. Let's see what he's got. For eight mana. And I can I could play Giant Mastodon. And maybe with this, like, or we could try to play several minions. That's okay. Blop. So with that, uh, we've got an easy lethal, right? Just clear this. Do this and do that. Let's not waste too much time. A victory is a victory. Very interesting. And I played one spell as well. First win is in. We're at 17 minutes. We can try a second one. This is a pretty fun deck. You don't know what to expect. Um, yeah. Nice game. I felt in control as well. So that's pretty good. Let's see who comes in next here. All those taunts, a couple of poisons, then have that guy that upgrades. Pretty cool. There he is, the worthy opponent. A mage. Knowledge is power for Doomhammer. Oh, that's not bad. Instead of, uh, yeah, give your. All right. I actually sort of like all of them. I have to wait a couple of turns, but you know these are these are cool cards to uh, to come out with. I think that's one is interesting as well. Let's see when you draw this, add random spell. What was that? When you add to your hand from your class. Okay, and it's like a two-two elemental, which he plays. Okay. Um, hmm. Overload. That's a little bit unfortunate because that does mean that I can't. But it gives me that early board control. So I think I'm still okay with that. Let's see what he plays next for two. Smelly fish. Hmm. Yummy fish. Interesting. I guess we'll this he'll want to take care of that do I attack him so he'll kill that then I've got this one on who does two damage I think it's worth it to attack him and then hope that this guy can uh, protect me so the small minion meta is pretty obvious and a secret hmm that can be anything of course if it's a copy, then I should have the advantage. Let's see. Okay. All right. Um, I'll use up the weapon. What's done is done. I have a, a taunt ready. I've got flame tongue ready as well with this. Got some clear. Oh, he plays the same. <laughs> nice. So I would say... Battle cry, discover a spell, reduce its cost. And then put it on top of your deck. Could be, you know, I don't, 
I need to spend this and this in order to clear him in one go. Is that worth it? Maybe not. I'm not in too much danger because of that either. Uh, give a minion plus two plus two. If it's an elemental, add a random elemental to your hand. Uh, is that an elemental? No. We've got a hex as well. A free hex next turn. Or a free bloodlust at some point later. Maybe the, I'll, I'll take the free hex next turn. Then we'll end the turn. You can you can do that for the divine shield. And we still have some options. Oh, and this guy is back. All right, another secret. Interesting. So I'll do this. First, can I still be cleared if it's a copy a minion, which it isn't. So we'll do this, then let's see if it's uh... no, that's not a problem. Immune this turn, so I can use that first if I still have to kill something big. So my best play is probably this guy. Let's see what he does. Oh, I should have put it on the other side. Add a mirror image spell to your hand. Hmm. Okay. I get... Hmm, I like the green jelly. Yep, yeah, we'll take him. Now, how to clear this? I can give him immune to kill it. Use this one. Let's see. I hope it's not a counter spell. It is a counter spell. Oh no. What, what was it then? When your opponent casts a spell, add a copy. Ooh, that costs zero. So he's going to kill that unless... Let's see if the immune keeps working. And I get a taunt. Ah, it doesn't last. So he's going to kill him. Not that. Or maybe this one. I keep going on the wrong side. But all right. We still have a hex as well. Go ahead, overload. Okay. That does make sense, of course. Hero power for him. All right. I'm still okay. I'm still okay with this. Uh, then let's put this guy on the other side. Healing. Oh, healing is here. And get taunts. Free taunts. And he used the spell as well. So let's see what's next. <laughs> the board control. Add three random. Okay. Shaman spells are good to clear stuff out. But that's not how that works. Um, hmm. This does put me in an interesting situation. 3-3-4 three, three, is not enough. So I am going to play this one. We still have the hex option. That's a little bit unfortunate that I have so much stuff on the board. If you have something like a flame strike... I might be screwed, but he did draw for spells there. So uh, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should just have not played it. A bit greedy. Yeah, greedy, greedy, greedy. But if he, can, if he can't clear everything, then my summons could be really good. Let's see what Khadgar still has. Ooh, he's forced to draw. He's forced to draw. That's costing him mana. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Place your hero with Warlock. 
but all right all right interesting game but unless he had a massive aoe he wasn't going to do this so we're still under half an hour we can try our third game considering that we just won the first two and um i think then we'll we'll make this part one of this arena run i will see how we go after it because i think after a couple of victories you do get into a pool of players that have also been winning so they constantly have better and better decks so things might get interesting later on they might also take a little bit longer there we go ah could have used a brand new player there oh, drew it I must protect the wild. A Russian druid. Um, that's not that bad. I like this guy early on in the hand, and I'll, I'll grab, try to grab something else. All right, giving me some, some potential boards con uh, clear, or some more control here. This is definitely an okay hand in my book, and that one. I, I just don't know what the Hall of Fame cards are, but. Okay, Death Rattle, if it's okay, let's start with this. If he does clear it out, I guess I, well, it's a taunt minion, so let's see what he does. Coin. The tree one with Death Rattle. I guess we can try and annoy him with this. We still have the lightning bolt as well in case of trouble. He's going to make this a 3-3 if he kills that. Well, let's see what his options are. Okay, interesting. That's a really good card. Stonehill Defender. But I think we can still try stuff. goes for that kill he's a 3-3 so i could use the lightning bolt here then i could clear this and first i could play the twilight drake right oh uh, no i can't actually because <laughs> i still need the overloads so we'll do this like that the next turn we can still twilight drake which also needs to be cleared. And he needs a response because this guy is now 5. That becomes a 4-4. Four, four. RNG. In my favor here. What else does he have? Well, he can still hero power. Now he can't anymore. Okay. A little bit strange. Um, can't really taunt anything. So we'll do this. We'll do that. And then we'll hit him for six. He still needs to deal with it. And and I still have two decent cards there. That's a seven, eight taunt. That's not so bad. But I think I prefer Wildlands Adventure. Unless he does something like that. Hmm. I could also put up a really big taunt here, but it costs me almost everything to clear this guy out. It's an overload of three. Gives me a lot less options next turn. So I think I'm almost better off. Just clearing and then hoping for a good draw. Hall of Famer, an Ice Lance. Ouch. That's not so good. Keep the taunt for a bit later. Another big taunt. And he freezes that one. Okay. Well, we're gonna invite you to get through the Earth Elemental next, I think. Uh, do I overload for four? This gives me 
five. No, I think I'd prefer, yeah, making someone immune. Let's see what you've got. Let's see what you have. Oh my god, he's a taunter. <laughs> he's a big taunter. But I, I can be patient with that. Okay. He also goes for getting rid of them. Interesting. Uh, I can. It takes 5 damage. But I can still kill this stuff. And then what do I put up? Um, oh, I can actually... Ooh, that's not bad. You're immune. Now you're gone. Okay, that was actually the play. That was actually the play. Now give me the guy that upgrades. Let me summon some of this stuff. That would be nice. How did I get Discover a spell. Reduce its... Okay, yeah. I, I know this one. Seven. Nine. Let's see what he has. Well, it is. It's going to be his ne next card. So this is very interesting one. But... Trying to go for my face. Interesting choice again. Uh, that's like no brainer, I think. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty good. He's down to 11. We've got six right here. Still have this. That can be dangerous. And what's his spell? I can see. Oh, all right. Didn't expect that. Uh, five. Well, we were very close. And uh, he used a polystone. So there you go, guys. A uh, pretty good start of this arena, I must say. I'm kind of liking my deck. And there's even some, some later game options that have never really come into play, which are my poison minions. Uh, love the green jelly and absolutely in love with the master of realities um okay very cool we'll continue this in the next one but for now thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time